Okay, so here's a pencil drawing that I have, and let's say I want to put this on a new layer uh, and then be able to paint underneath it or change its colors or overlay it. I could just make a new layer with this and put it on multiply, but um, I found a better way and a more uh, a way that gives you a lot more options is to first make it into an alpha channel and then use that alpha channel to fill um, a new layer. Uh, with color and then overlay that. So basically all I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll select everything and I'll copy it and then I'll go into my channels over here and I'll make a new channel and I'll paste that image into it and then I'll go up to image adjustments and I will invert that image. So now that that's inverted I'll go back to my RGB channels. I'll go back to my layers here and I'll make a new layer. Now I can, um, going back to channels, if I hold down my control key and I click on that new alpha channel I made, it will change my selection to be based on what that alpha channel was. So now going back into layers, I can go up to edit and choose fill and I will fill it with, for right now, I'll fill it with black. Okay, so now um, I'll go ahead and make my background color. I'll take that back to white. So I'll just go and fill that with white. Okay, and so now it looks like I'm back to where I was. But I do have this on its own layer, and now if I go here, just like if it was on multiply, um, I can go in and take a brush and paint underneath it get a lighter color here so that we're not going nuts. Here we go. Beautiful, disgusting, purpley pink. But yeah, so now I can paint underneath here. Um, just like you could do with multiply and you might say, well then, big deal, why didn't I just use multiply? Because this is now a transparent layer up here and it's just on normal, the normal blend mode. Um, so I can go in and I can change that. So if I call up... So now I just go and um, call up my image adjustments hue and saturation and I can go on to this layer now and if I hit the colorize button and now I turn up the lightness just a little bit and I'm going to crank the saturation and you can see that now I can tone this line work to be whatever color I might want so I can make it nice and super blue or whatever which is harder to do when you have it on multiply to keep it going over the background and etc. And so yeah, I can get that there and then now I can go in and paint away under here with whatever colors I want. And you can see it keeps all the tone and all the shading really nicely and then gives me more control over what the line work looks like in its own layer. There you go.